that opposes your power! So, uh, who's that? I don't know, boss. I guess he works there. You think he's packing? Nah, guy rides a desk. Everyone in position? Uh-huh. Don't screw this up, Tony. Hey, trust me, boss. Hey, you know I do. Okay, boys. It's playtime. What happened to the pizza? Oh, sorry, Virgil. Pizza's off till we pay Mort that 20 bucks we owe him. <laughs> what chance of that? Hey, something smells nice. Uh, you got a visitor. Business? I sure hope so. Oh. Uh, hi. Can I help you? Mr. Strobart? That's me. Thank God. I thought you'd never get here. <laughs> it's that kind of neighborhood. Please, Mr. Strobart. I need your help. Oh, you want a bail bond? Oh, no. Not a bail bond. You see, there are some men. They're after me. They want to kill me. Oh, if they find me here, they'll probably want to kill you, too. I have a manuscript, you see, and... Whoa, 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 look, miss. Anna Maria. Anna Maria, this, this is a bail bond agency, I'm a lawyer, and you need the police. But there isn't time. Lady, in my experience, there is always time. Now do you believe me? Are those the guys that... Yes, and if we don't get out of here... My trusty telescopic nine iron. Aren't you supposed to be good at this sort of thing? No, not anymore. I gave it up. Tell that to them. Yeah, right. So what do we do now? I'm working on it. Can we get out through here? I don't know. You want to go back down? Are you crazy? Exactly. Well, I don't think we're going to have it to ourselves for long. What did you do to those guys? I have a manuscript. They want it. Let me guess. It ain't poetry. It contains the secret location of a priceless treasure. Oh, terrific. I should have known. It's been in my family for years. I started to decode it, 
drew too much attention to myself, and now this. Well, thanks for asking me along. Really appreciate it. So where are we? I don't know. I've never been up here before. That's the elevator. Weird. I wonder who could be... Are you crazy? The bad guys, that's who. I can't hold this forever, George. Anna Maria is stopping the elevator's door from closing. I need to find a way to help her. Now that should hold it. Lucky the old Stobart Club has a locking device. Thanks. That was a good idea. Yeah. Clever, huh? This thing isn't coming off in a hurry. Quick, give me a hand with this grill. Sure. That should stop anyone from calling the elevator. Come on, we can get out this way. Hang on, Anna Maria. I'll find a way to get you across. Okay, Anna Maria. You can cross the alley on the joists. Thanks, George. Now let's make sure they can't follow us. Just what I was gonna do. Come on, it won't haul them off for long. You know what? I think we might just make it. I underestimated you. A lot of people make that mistake. So, are you for hire? Depends on the deal. 10,000 up front, 10,000 when you decode the manuscript. I'm for hire. Uh, just one question. Why me? The manuscript is covered in medieval symbols. And you do medieval, don't you? Sure, I do medieval. I even do medieval under fire. You won't regret it, Mr. Stobart. Please, call me George. Okay, George. But tell me, how are we gonna get out of here? Trust me, we'll find a way. I'll find a way to get back to you. They came up this way.
Okay, you can get across now. Thanks. That was a good idea. Dangerous. Best keep clear. The sextant pipe was pretty rusted. No surprise it broke. New York plumbers, huh? The breaker switch just won't stay in the off position. That pipe must have given it a hell of a wallop. Hold this breaker switch for me, would you? Sure. Thanks, George. Now let's get out of here. Hold the handle, would you? If you really want me to. Come on, Anna Maria, I can't hold it for long. I'm with you, George. Where now? Brooklyn, my hotel. The manuscript is in a safe in my room. Uh, any ideas how we get there? Taxi? Come on. Now, that's amazing. First taxi I ever saw stop in this neighborhood. Hell! This is bad, Tony! This is nearly a screw-up! No way is this a screw-up. Yeah, maybe you're right. I found her bag. At least now we know where she's staying. You dumbass. We already know where she's staying. We do? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's a screw-up, all right. George, look. I know. It's a crime against interior design. No! The guy by the desk, he's one of them! Okay, Nico, here's how we play it. Nico? What? Uh, Anna Maria, sorry. Uh, here's how we do it. I go in, find your room. Then you sneak around the back and I let you in. Only one problem. My key was in my bag. So? I lost my bag! Ah, well, uh, don't worry. I'll figure out a way, trust me. I do. With my life. Hey, I wouldn't go that far. So, uh, what's your room number? 23. Second floor. Right. I'll get in there somehow and open a window for you. I'll be in the alley. Good luck. You got my cell number? Yeah, don't worry. Thanks for letting me use your phone, buddy. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you the receptionist? I'm the manager. Name's Alfonso. You could call me Mr. Alfonso. Where's the receptionist? She went AWOL. Good for nothing, lazy broad. Who's the guy who just left? Is he a guest? No, he just came in to use my phone. Normally, I don't let people come in off the street and use the facilities, but... Uh... Uh, he's got a nice face. What a surprisingly sweet, sentimental man you are. What? I'm looking for a room for one night. Maybe something with a view? We're full. Take this flyer. Book ahead next time. What a hotel. So busy and yet so charmingly quiet. A triumph. It's the flyer for the lousy New York hotel. 
On the top is the hotel number. I guess it could be useful. Hey, you need your room key card to open those doors. No key card, no getting in. Excuse me. All right, all right, take my money, but don't hurt me. I was just wondering if I could ask you a couple of questions. Oh, oh, I, I see. I thought you were one of those awful gangster rappers. What, dressed like this? Well, exactly, they don't dress well, do they? So, what brings you to New York? Cackling, Brent, Pinkfoot. Come again? Bean, Brent, and Barnacle? Uh, yeah. Geese, sir, wild geese. Alsa, Alberfranz, Branter, Bernicla, the great ocean wanderers. I'm here to purchase some rare watercolors depicting geese. Paintings of geese, huh? I guess it beats stuffing them. If you don't mind me saying, you look a little nervous. The World Wide Web declared this place to be a boutique hotel gem, the like of which Philip Stark himself would be proud. Not your view, huh? No, sir. It is a rat-infested, urine-stained hellhole. I fully expect I shall be mugged, held to ransom, or even... Even what? It doesn't bear thinking about. So why don't you go somewhere else? I would. Sadly, the dealer from whom I am purchasing the paintings is indisposed. And he only has the number for this hotel to contact me. I simply cannot go home without my geese. Well, I guess that's the price you pay for art. Do you have a key card to get past those security doors? I certainly do. It makes an excellent bookmark. I seem to have misplaced mine. I don't suppose I could borrow yours? Sir, I do not know you from Adam. For all I know, you intend to enter this building under false pretenses. I only want to get up to my room. Then you shall have to see that vile creature behind the counter. I have no desire to go to prison on your behalf, especially as there appears to be such a shortage of soap in those establishments. The hotel manager seems to have a chip on his shoulder. What's his problem? Oh, he's been in a foul temper ever since I arrived. But when his receptionist went missing a little while ago, he turned very nasty indeed. Alfonso's Hotel? What do you want? Hi there. I was wondering if you could help me. I was wondering if I could speak to a Thelwell Minster? Yeah, sure. Let me put a call out over the tannoy. Hey, Thelwell! There's a call for you here! The book's of no interest, but I'll borrow the keycard. Can you believe it? I'm even getting crank calls here. You of all people. The second my friend calls, I should be out of here toot sweet. The tutor the sweeter, I bet. George, it's me. You okay? I'm trapped on the fire escape. They've got guys all over the place. They haven't seen me yet, but it's only a matter of time. George, you must get into my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, just hold on and, and I don't know, look invisible. Invisible? Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. I don't want to cross the barrier for fear of my health. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. 
The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. But when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. I really hate doing stuff like this, but it could be useful. Huh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is... Huh? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what the heck are they feeding on? Hey there. Can I help you, mister? I'm looking for room 23. It's out of bounds. Why? Are you staying in room 23? No. Are you? I could get myself in trouble here. No, I'm just looking for a friend. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Beat it. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel, huh? Hey, you! Leave that clock alone! I was just admiring it. Ah, so you've had that new laser eye surgery, have you? Huh? The surgery that attaches your eyeballs to your hands? But I don't have... Oh, <laughs> I get it. You do? So back up! You bet! Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? <sighs> if you make it quick. So what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Death Watch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. So, apart from eating every scrap of wood, what harm do they do? They fall in your food. They climb in your hair. They live in your bed and they are impossible to kill. Alfonso won't be happy. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? It could be my eyes, but is that something moving on your clock? It's the hands, pal. It's called time. Can't you see it? Oh, let it not be. What? A Death Watch beetle. No! Not my precious clock! Got it. Listen, pal, if you don't stop messing with my window, I'm gonna start messing with yours. Sorry about that. Hmm, it's a pen with the logo of a black cat embossed on it. The fan shudders when it slows down. I bet this room's got the highest mortality rate in the city.
Anna Maria, over here. George, what took you so long? I was having so much fun, I just lost track of time. Next time, you get the fire escape. Oh yeah? Well, maybe next time I'll charge double. Now how do we get out of here? The alley's full of bad guys. And there's some even badder guys out there. So what about the safe? Oh my god! What's happened here? The whole place has been turned over. And the manuscript, it's gone. Gone! I'm sorry, Anna Maria, but we'll figure out what to do, I promise. Oh, George, it just means so much to me. I know, I know. My family, we're not rich. You see, the treasure, I think I've built it up so much. Now look, you tell me everything you can remember about the manuscript and maybe I can help. Okay, I'll try. The manuscript, well, it's on old parchment and, and there's writing, Latin writing. Uh-huh. So it's old, with Latin writing on it. Well, that sure narrows it down. If you're going to be like that, I'm not going to tell you. Well, give me a break, will you? What else was on it? There must have been something. Pictures. Beautiful pictures. Can you remember any? One. There's one. Oh, it's so beautiful, George. A crusader on horseback, fighting a dragon, everything red and gold. Hmm. Still not a lot to go on. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm just making it up? Of course I believe you. I just don't think I can help you till we find the manuscript. Maybe the guys who took it left clues. Exactly. And all we have to do is find them. Easy. Hey, that's my line. Well, you better get used to sharing. That's better. Just don't worry, Anna Maria. I am going to get your manuscript back. I promise. The number of combinations must be immense. There's no point in guessing. How can I get the code for the door? Maybe this pen will help him out. A pen is great, but they're gonna need paper as well. Maybe who's ever in there can write out the code. I can hear shuffling noises. And there's the pen and the flyer. There's a number scribbled on the flyer. 5837X. The number scribbled on the flyer is my best bet. Here goes nothing. My God, are you okay? I am now. Thank you. Um... Hey, call me George. What happened? One minute. I'm looking for some cleaner. Next thing I know, I'm being bundled in here and it all goes dark. Did you get a good look at the guy who did it? It sounds crazy, but he looked just like Elvis. Uh-huh. Go on. He also had a tattoo. A tattoo of a snake wrapped around an immense... Don't mind me. That's him! You won't get away this time, punk! Okay, Anna Maria. The goons are gone, but the cops will be here soon. We better get out of here. But where are we gonna go? To see a friend about your manuscript. Hey, glad you could stop by, George. If you see anything that hasn't been smashed, help yourself. Finish the place off, huh? Better still, torch it. Raise it to the ground. Virgil, you're upset. I can see that. That's why I went into business with you, partner. That amazing detective brain. We got insurance, don't we? You let it lapse, remember? Ah. Uh, so, uh, what's with the gizmo? 
This, this is my MP3 player, man. What's left of it? The greatest soul and R&B collection ever smashed, destroyed by your pals. How am I gonna work without the sounds of Maggie J. Blind, huh? How am I gonna sleep without the greatest hits of Barry Brown, the hippo of love? How am I gonna sing in my shower without my dose of Malteser? These are rhetorical questions, I guess, right, Virgil? They're burning and forthright questions, man! I can buy you another! No! You can't. Last shipment came into the city, somebody stole them all. Could be months before the next one. I could have been killed, and all Virgil does is whine about his player. I have a manuscript to get back. Hey, Anna Maria. Are these your cigarettes? No. Why? Hmm. Somebody dropped a pack here. I'll take them anyway. May just provide a lead. Where do I go next? Anna Maria, you better stay here. You'll be safe with Virgil. And then this guy slipped a pen and paper under the door. He looked like... him! Well, if it ain't the hero, save the day. Oh, I don't know about save the day, but hey, I'm happy with hero. Listen to me, Sonny. I don't like heroes, which means I don't like you. So next time, leave it to the professionals. I'll remember that. Next time. Excuse me? Yeah. You ever seen this brand before? Where'd you get them? Oh, someone left them where I work, at a bail bond agency. Yeah, figures. That's just the kind of place you'd find black market cigarettes. Black market? That's right. Illegal. They're coming into the city by boat, somehow. It's all down to a Mafia outfit called the Martinos. They got their filthy hands in everything. So this pack of cigarettes couldn't have come from anywhere else? Nope. It's their signature brand. Excuse me? Ah, yes. Our very own superhero. I'm Officer O'Halloran. And you are... George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. Two B's, two T's. Got it. So, what do you want, Mr. Two B's, Two T's? The guy who locked up the receptionist. You got any idea who he was? Hmm, medium height, dark hair and a quiff. Looked a bit like Elvis. Could have been anybody. Did you see any distinguishing marks? Well, there was his tattoo. You know, that guy's tattoo was very unusual. Surprise me. It was a snake with massive fangs wrapped around what looked like... Spit it out, man! Wrapped around... Well, a salami. A salami, you say? Yes, a salami, I say. Well, that explains everything! Oh, yes? Oh, yes! A salami means only one thing around here! And what's that? It means there's a deli open! What? Just kidding. It means the Martino gang. The same route as fiends who smuggled in your cigarettes. Wait till my boss hears this. Well, he knows the Martinos? Been after him for years. So the guy who was here is a member of the Martinos? Correct. And the cigarettes are being smuggled into the city by boat? Correct. So the Martinos have a hangout near the docks? Correct. I should play this more often. They got no factory down on the East River. A legitimate business. Mama Martino's Meatpacking Company. So we can't touch them. Time for a stroll down to the docks, I think. Where do I want to go next? Martino's Meatpacking Company. The manuscript could be somewhere inside, but I'm gonna have to get in to find out for sure. A 
Hey, you. Where'd you think you're going? Oh, hi. Uh, I'm the new guy. Where's your apron? I forgot it. Uh, don't worry. I'll get another inside. Oh, no, you won't. No apron, no entry. Well, that sounds a little unreasonable. M's the rules. No getting in without an apron. Hi there. Hello, sir. My name is Chico Carella, and I run this shop for Mama Martino's salami factory. We got a wide range of salamis for your delectation. We got salami Milano, salami di Folino, salami Ungarese, salami Brasaiola. Yeah, we got so much salami, we got salami coming out our ears. <laughs> Little joke there. Maybe sir is looking for something, uh, extra special. How about a 28-year-old vintage salami? Made the way Mama used to make it, huh? Uh, thanks, but no. Spicy foods don't agree with me. You mean... you don't eat salami? Uh, no. Not... ever? Not really. I better get on it. Like... never? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I'm crazy about salami. I died for salami. I love salami. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I love you too. You're a funny guy. Hey, don't I know you? You on TV? Oh, I've just got one of those faces. I never forget a face, you know. Yeah, it'll come to me. <laughs> funny guy. You have a very wide selection of salamis. That's because Mama Martino, she make a lot of different salami. This one here is made out of boar. Was the boar wild? Well, he wasn't too keen on the idea. <laughs> it's an old gag, but always a good one, huh? What makes a Martino salami so special, then? The finest and the freshest ingredients. And, of course, the secret recipe. So, what salami would you recommend for me? I knew it the minute you walked in the door, sir. The Martino Vintage. The Me Plus Ultra of the salami world. Nice Latin, I'm impressed. You see, the Martino Vintage utilizes only the tenderest meat. Hung and bled for three whole days whilst being constantly beaten. Oh, really? Uh, what do you beat it with? Baseball bats. Anyway, when the meat's ready, the boss himself grinds it up. From one batch, we can make 50 salamis. Each one goes to a different store as a one-off special. This is my only 28-year vintage, and it's going cheap. Wow. To think that salami's been around for 28 years. Ha! Are you crazy? <laughs> 28's the age of the meat when it goes into the salami. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you know what make of cigarette this is. I sure do. Those are Heavenly Breeze, the finest Italian cigarettes you can buy! Interesting branding. My favorite! Very hard to get in this country, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess that. One drag from one of those babies, and you feel like you're up there with the angels. Ah, oh, yes, sir! What do you want for the pack? Right. If I give you this pack of cigarettes, you have to give me the vintage salami. Vintage for some cigarettes? Yeah, it's an interesting offer. And it's a done deal. There you go. One Martino's classic vintage salami. Thank you. And here's your pack of Italian cigarettes. I bet you're just itching for one of those death sticks right now, huh? You better believe it. But if I leave here and get found out, there'll be hell to pay! I'll have to wait until no one's around. 
Nice doing business with you. Wearing the apron, I'd be able to move freely about the building. And there's no time like the present. Ah, you found your apron then. it coming from somewhere, but where? Aha! The safety key fits the lock on the forklift. So then the bum tries to tell me it was my boys that screwed up. Huh. Everybody knows my boys are the best. Ain't that right, Mr. Spalacci, sir? So I am told. That's why you hired me. Apparently. Anyways, Tony's got cold feet now. Ain't that right, fellas? That's right, Mr. Fingers, sir. I guess he's gonna be uh, hanging around a long time before I... Another job comes his way. You crack me up, Mr. Fingers. You see? Messing with my wife I can deal with. But screwing my business, why well, that's personal. So, anyhow, Mr. Spalacci, sir, here we are. The manuscript safe and sound. Filed under F. F for found. Clever, huh? So much better than F for failure, don't you think? Or G for garrote, or H for hanged himself, huh? Very, very, very funny, Mr. Spalacci, sir. Yes, very funny. I've got to find a way to get those guys out of there. I can hardly feel the heat of the wood through the blanket. The wood smoldering in the air vent, but only a small amount's going into the room. I need to make more. You just love it. <laughs> the smell of Naples herself in a salami. <laughs> Who would have thunk it, huh? But hey, you can have too much of a good thing, right? <laughs> what say we, uh, 
I'll head down to the club and uh, celebrate our little success. <laughs> For God's sake, yes. <clears throat> Hey, Tony! How's it hanging, Tony? <laughs> you guys finish up now and head home, you hear? What about the new guy? What new guy? Fella started just now. Ah, let him be. Hey, he ain't gonna starve, right? <laughs> Fingers and the other guys are leaving. Now's my chance to get the manuscript. Fingers and the rest of them came out of this room. Well, well, well. Empty, apart from an electronic card reader. My God, this must be Tony. Looks like it's going to be another good year for the Martino Vintage. I really don't want to do this, but I've got no choice. Ugh. Yes! A key card! Thank heavens for secret doorways. The cabinet's locked and secured so tightly that it's impossible to open. Even a seasoned pro would struggle here. Through the open window, I can just see the bone cruncher. Falling into that thing would be a big mistake. I bet it could tear cars apart. Whatever's wrapped in this handkerchief must be very precious to someone. Terrific. A photograph of actress Lucy Chu from that film In Cold Blood. Nice, but not worth wrapping in a handkerchief. Well, that stain sure won't ever come out. Put the keys back in the bone cruncher. Maybe the grease from the handkerchief could loosen up those wheels. Underneath the MP3 player is Anna Maria's manuscript. It's the real thing, all right. 14th century. Question is, how am I going to research it? Museums are out of the question. No, I need somewhere much more salubrious. Hey, Anna Maria, look. George, you found it. Oh. Thank you, thank you! All part of the service. Now, let's see just what we've got here. See how the fortified city has minarets? It looks Eastern. Do you think this angel's important? Perhaps the manuscript will give us a clue. It says... The first. Find the knights who share a horse. 
and grasp the stone to open the way. It makes no sense. Your Latin's good. I was kind of geeky at school, but you know what? It sure paid off. It says... The second. Address the arms upon the shields and close the circle for the knights to let you pass. It says... The third. Follow the master's worldly route and prove yourself worthy to lift. First, the fortress were heated fight, but was overwhelmed by Mamluk's might. Then he traveled to Longshank's fair city, and as grand preceptor, he was received. To the temple at Vilnov, where he was appointed grand master of the order, before journeying to the island where he holds his court. It says, the last, to see the light turn from Holy Sion to face the great fortress of the Empire of the East, the seat of the Holy Church in the West, the learned Coptic city to the south. Turn from Holy Sion to face, from where? Jerusalem? The fires of hell are consuming the city. A fairly typical depiction of a fortified European city. The manuscript was made in 1307. The Templars must have known an attack was imminent and took care their treasure would be safe. Cross, crescent moon, star of David. I wonder why these symbols are here. Four knights with shields. The fourth coat of arms is hidden. It says... Below the fortress of the one true patriarch awaits the angel. For he who is worthy and follows the path of the righteous. So, all we need to do is work out who the true patriarch was and where his fortress is. And then find a way to get below it. But which fortress? And this looks like St. George, the patron saint of England fighting the famous dragon. Strange. The city on the right looks eastern, but it's being defended by a Christian knight. Wasn't St. George English? Actually, he came from Turkey. Hey, I recognize this. It's Baphomet, the idol that the Templars were accused of worshipping. I really need to find a way to research these subjects. Can you decode it, George? Uh-uh, not fully. I need a library or a database. But the streets are too dangerous. Can't we get information online? Well, there is a website. Andre Labano's Society of Antiquarian Knowledge, but I was locked out. Didn't you say that Virgil had hacking skills? Yeah, but he's pretty angry right now. Then get charming. Virgil, I know nothing can replace your MP3 player, but I thought this might ease the loss. Well, what do you know? Same model. Uh, you steal it? No, certainly not. I'm a lawyer. Exactly, so you stole it. Hmm. Well, it doesn't replace the music, though, does it? Ah, heck. I got it all on CD at home anyway. <laughs> Thanks, George. Virgil, I need to get online to do some research. So go online. What's stopping you? Uh, the site I need blackballed me after Glastonbury. Locked me out. Take it from me, George, and I've been in prison. Ain't no such thing as locked out. Now where's that little gadget? I know it's here somewhere. There you go, George. This should be useful. What is it? It's a flashcard with a few little features of my own design. Just slip it into your PDA and ride that internet. Right, George. This is my homemade hacking system, with the emphasis on homemade, know what I mean? I'll show you how to use it by hacking into a computer owned by an old friend of mine. 
This is you, symbolized by your PDA. This is your destination, the database you're attempting to hack. What you gotta do is connect your data stream to the target computer without being spotted or stopped. See here, my friend lives on the other side of the state. This mountain range is in the way, so we gotta go around it. If we're gonna hack into the database, we're gonna have to pass through these points, or root nodes. They disguise the data stream from your PDA so you don't get found out. To manipulate the data stream, you gotta use routers and refractors. You understand? You're utilizing other less secure systems in the area. You're pretty limited to what the device can find at the time, but there's normally enough to do the job. This one acts like a mirror. It'll deflect the beam at 90 degree angles. This one refracts your beam at 45 degree angles. These are splitters. They can split a beam at either 45 or 180 degree angles. As the target device is searching for one data stream, you'll need to converge the data streams back into one. You do this using a splitter, but in reverse. But if you're using a splitter in one direction, you can't use it in the other. These points are the bad boys. They're nodes which detect what you're up to and stop your hacking. You gotta be one step ahead of these fellas. Accidentally root your data stream into one of these and your connections bust open. I recommend you plan your route before you start placing nodes all over the place. So, watch me complete this puzzle. There you go. Now let's see what my friend has in his database. Oh no! Oh boy, we didn't want to see that. He is one outrageous dude. Okay, George, your turn. The link with Baphomet proves that there's some kind of Templar connection here. The Templars really were victims of betrayal and greed. Philippe IV, I wonder, did you pay for your sins? Even by medieval standards, Philippe IV was a ruthless, vain dictator. His puppet, Clement V, was no better. Clement V was just a puppet of the king. Did you know popes used to be regularly attacked by mobs in those days? Can't say I'm surprised. As Napoleon said, history is written by the victors. Jacques de Molay was cynically betrayed by Philippe IV of France. It's an eastern looking city. If Clement V is not the true patriarch, and Saint George, who came from Turkey, is fighting a dragon below the city of a holy man who is the true patriarch. Yes? then the city must be Istanbul, which was known as Constantinople in medieval times. And the fortress must be a reference to the old citadel of Constantinople. George, that's amazing. Does it still exist? I don't know, but I bet someone in Istanbul would. George, you are brilliant. Thank you so much for helping me. Hey, I'm having fun. I'd never turn down the chance to search for Templar treasure. So, Anna Maria, you feel like a trip to Istanbul? You think we'll find the treasure? We'll have a damn good try. Room service. Come in. Good afternoon, Effendi. I bring chai for you and your good lady wife. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> She's not my wife, you know. Ah, of course. Yes, well, you are indeed blessed, sir, to have such a beautiful mistress. 
Uh, no, what I mean is, we haven't... Uh, we don't... <clears throat> There's nothing happening. Do not worry, sir. A few nights here in the beautiful Pasha Palace, and the sweet creature will know your special gift of romantic love, I am sure. I shall leave you to your rejuvenating sleep, sir. Hi, George. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, hi. What a sweet waiter. What was he saying? Oh, nothing. Uh, the weather. Rain. Says it's not expected. Uh, never has been. All an ugly rumor. <laughs> Which is good. Um, time to find the treasure, huh? I'll be in the corridor while you get dressed. All set? Yeah, thank you, George. Got it. Nice souvenir. Ah, my friend. And how is my favorite guest this afternoon? Do you know anything about an old citadel here in Istanbul? Oh, the great citadel. <laughs> Legend tells that it is buried deep under Topkapi Palace. Topkapi? Topkapi is one of our most beautiful sites. Alas, it is not open to the public this week. There is a political conference going on and the place is crawling with guards. Why not instead visit the famous Hucha smokers by Galatasaray? Oh, the San Sophia, the Blue Mosque, the Turkish Baths. Very sexy, my friend. <laughs> so, are you happy in your work then? I have been a waiter all my life, sir. A joyous life, dedicated to the art of fulfilling the desires of each and every guest that travels to our great city. The exotic crucible where East meets West. How are you? I'm well, thank you. And busy with VIP check-in requirements. What can you tell me about Top Copy? Oh, it's very beautiful. But the presidential conference is being held there this week. Only invited diplomats and press will be allowed in. Why not visit somewhere else? There's a map on the wall there, where you can see all the main attractions. Anna Maria, look at this. Topkapi Palace is enormous. Where the heck are we going to find any traces of the old citadel? Mm. There's a fountain in the inner courtyard. It must connect to the water system. Maybe that's the aqueduct that served the old citadel. Yeah, that's possible. But how do we get in if it's closed to the public? You are working with George Stobart. There's always a way. The famous harem. Apparently the prince kept 200 concubines, as well as the usual 10 wives. There's a fountain in the inner courtyard. Sometimes these connect to the lower aqueduct system. Maybe we could get underground there. Lover's vestibule? Wonder what that is. Maybe the waiter knows. So this is Topkapi Palace, the jewel of the Ottoman Empire. Sorry, no tourists allowed in this week. Wait, you press? Uh, yes, I'm a journalist. What paper? Uh, New York Times. They already signed in. I meant the Idaho Chronicle. They canceled. Are you guessing? Of course not. Maybe you're not really a journalist. Maybe you are a terrorist. No, 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 no. You see, I'm freelance, so I often forget who I'm with. Oh, yes? Because I work for so many papers. All the paper guys signed in. And TV. I work for TV. A lot. All the TV guys signed in. 
And radio, of course. Radio all signed in. Oh, heck. Apart from... Yes? Eamon Omara. You're kidding. But that's amazing. Why? Well, because of all the journalists in all the world. Yes? You picked the one journalist... Yes? That is me. <laughs> me. You mean... You're Eamon Omara? Oh, we've been expecting you, Mr. Omara. <laughs> Are you enjoying your stay at the Pasha Palace? I'm afraid I have to ask for your ID anyway, Mr. Omara. Oh, heck. I'm sorry I left it at the hotel. No ID, no entry, no exceptions. I guess the palace is impenetrable? I mean, with all the security? Only the Crusaders managed to break into Top Kapi, and they had somebody on the inside. A beautiful woman, I suspect, though the legend is murky. I found a building on the map marked Lover's Vestibule. Do you know what that is? The Lover's Vestibule. It is a side entrance that has a famous bolt system which can only be opened from the inside. Are there any other interesting entrances to the palace? There are also doors inside that require two people to open them. Legend has it they were installed to prevent the gorgeous concubines sneaking out for a quick rendezvous with a guard. It's a picture of the receptionist holding a golf trophy. So, I hear Eamon O'Mara is staying here. Oh, yes. At this very hotel. It is so exciting to have a real celebrity here. Celebrity, huh? World famous. That a fact. Up your alley? <laughs> very good. After my little adventure in Glastonbury, Eamon wrote a bestseller about it. The End of the World, my part in how it nearly happened, but didn't. On the back of that, he's become a celebrity journalist. He still hasn't come down from his room today. I expect he is up there preparing for one of his brilliant interviews. Nursing a hangover, more like. Sorry? I said he's so good behind a mic. I get off duty soon, and then I shall personally take him the letter that just arrived from Top Copy. I had to sign for it, you know. Must be very important. Are there any good golf courses in Istanbul? Oh, you're interested in golf? It's one of my two passions. What's the other? Celebrities. Ah, to be back on the green. You know, it's really hard to find clubs that fit the female frame. Oh, really? I'm sure in your case that's not a problem. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Well, uh... Your frame is, uh, it would, uh, uh, look good on a golf club? My frame? On a golf club? Istanbul. What a city. What a city. Please, leave that. It is not for you. Yes, that could be a plan. Better talk to her. The letter from the palace might be important. I'm going to distract the receptionist. Can you grab the letter while she's not looking? You bet. Isn't this fun? Shh. It is, isn't it? Do you play often? Not as often as I'd like. What's your handicap? My ears, I guess. Oh? Can I show you my putt? Surprise me. That was actually quite impressive. Thank you. It's all in the grip, of course. So, how famous are you? Oh, very famous. Hmm. 
I am not convinced. Did you get it? You bet. It's an ID card for the palace press conference. You are a star. Looks like Eamon was given an ID card and a map for top copy. I separated the map and the ID card. I got the photo out of the ID, which is now ruined. Excellent. Now I've got ID to enter the palace. Choc Guzel, you really are Eamon O'Mara. Now, Mr. O'Mara, say the words for me. You know, the words. No, I really couldn't. Oh, please, I'm sure you could. No, I'm sure I can't. I think you can. You gotta be in the mood. Say them, now. Up your alley. Oh, fantastic. Again. Uh, up your alley. With feeling. Up your alley. Oh, Ekin at the gate will love it. He and I listen to all your shows. He's even got a poster of you at home. I'll let him know you're here. Terrific. I was wondering if you could help me. You want me to distract the guard on the left? How did you know? I'm a quick learner. Once I'm inside, I'll find that side door the waiter was talking about and let you in. Good luck. You too. We're both gonna need it. Scaffolding. No tourist attractions complete without it. That's the way in. Better watch out for those guards, though. Got it. The guard's cell phone number is 555-654-897. I put the phone back. I need to be careful here. Hmm, the plaster is loose here and I can see some rubble underneath. No do, Zeki. Better check it out. Fantastic. Lucky I got a sweet tooth. Oh no! Zeki, I've run out of tea. 
Never mind, baby. I'll make a new one. Come on. You stay here. Stay. Excellent. Now I've got a slice of salami. Well, that's the clothesline untied. Salami on a clothesline? It's a strange world, all right. There's the fountain, but the yard is crawling with guards. The building behind it is the museum. That's where I should find the side door. The system is password locked. That's the best I can do. The lasers will go on and off. Now, if only I could see them too. Hotel flyer goes in and the grill closes. With the flyer alight, the smoke should reveal where the lasers are. Nice work, George. Gee, thanks. No, gee, thanks you. It seems both heads need turning at the same time. Anna Maria, help me open this door, would you? What do I do? When I turn one head, you turn the other. Okay. You'd better wait here while I check out the fountain. Be careful. Those guards mean business. Looks like the guards concentrate on the museum part of the courtyard. That's going to make it hard enough.
Hmm. I need an extra pair of hands. Anna Maria, come down to the fountain. I need you to push the statue with me. Sure. Down the hole we go. Now we just need to find the citadel. You know, it might have caved in on itself years ago. You gotta have faith. I can hear the water rushing downwards now. I can hear the water rushing in and downwards now. Valve closed. Valve open. Hmm. The block isn't moving all the way. This must be the place. Oh, my. I don't think I actually believed it. Undisturbed for centuries. So the manuscript is genuine. It will lead us to the treasure. happening. Anna Maria, could you try pressing the button here, please? Sure. Ready? Here goes. That's done it. Nice work. Solved. George, you're a miracle worker. You know, sometimes I think I just might be. Excellent. Anna Maria, could you go stand in one of the alcoves? Why? The manuscript says we need to take our place in the circle. Oh, I see. What happens then? Well, if we're lucky, we find ourselves in the treasure room. And I get the treasure. That's the plan. Uh-huh. What? Nothing. Come on, Anna Maria. Hey, what's the matter? It's such a big step, don't you see? If the treasure's really there, then everything changes. But, Anna Maria, it changes for the better. You think so? 
I know so. I've been poor often enough. Maybe it's not about the money. So maybe it's not. But whatever happens, the way you and I have done this, the way we've been together, the way it's worked out, it's got to be a force for good, don't you think? A positive thing, a good thing? Agreed? Agreed. So, let's do it. You're right. Let's do it. most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Me too. You know something? I don't think it's medieval. I think it's even older. Almost biblical. Yeah, it seems familiar. Why is that? So many paintings of angels, I guess. You're right. Botticelli, Michelangelo. But none so beautiful as this. So, how are we going to get it out? Oh, it feels like Stealing? Are you kidding? I don't see anyone else down here putting in the hours. You're right. Come on, let's do it. Atta, girl! Cyprus. I've got it! Oh, strange. It's so much lighter than it looks. Oh, George, it's beautiful. I know. Amazing. Now all we gotta do is work out how we get out of here. Get out of here. We did it, George. I know. Are we brilliant or what? Champagne's on me. No way. That's my treat. Okay. I'll buy you dinner. Deal. What a meal! What an evening! Yep. Well, time for bed, I think. Time for sofa. <laughs> uh, better hit the sack. George, wouldn't you be more comfortable here? Comfortable? Uh-huh. Does that mean what I think it means? Wanna show me what you think it means? How long you got? All night. That enough? It'll do. For starters. One thing. Yeah? Who's Nico? Last night, you talked about her in your sleep. Oh, she's somebody I knew. Once. In a past life. A different country. Yeah, something like that. One more thing. Last one. Turn the angel round, would you? My grandfather used to say to me, 
George, life is full of ups and downs, and with a face like yours, you'd better get used to the downs. Very funny, but in the end, not far from the truth. So how did it all go wrong this time? Let's go back to the Pasha Palace. Anna Maria and I had, well, uh, we were, I was uh, asleep when I heard a noise. I didn't see who did it or what they did with Anna Maria, but when I came around, she was gone, and in her place was the waiter, which was strange, kind of reassuring. I hadn't ordered room service, but that wasn't why he was there. He wanted answers, and I believed him when he said he'd shoot me through each kneecap if he didn't get them. I think it's safe to say he had his own agenda, and somehow he knew about the cherub. I seem to remember saying, Anna Maria's been kidnapped, but the waiter was more interested in the cherub. How big was it? Was it really gold? Who was I working for? Then, suddenly, sirens. Terrific, I thought. I'm going to be rescued from this lunatic. It was the cavalry, all right. And they sure were coming to arrest somebody. Me. My face had been recognized on security footage at Top Copy. They thought I was a terrorist. And the waiter? Yeah, he was no waiter. He was some kind of cop, name of Mevlet. Things were just getting peachier and peachier. Mevlet told him to seal the room, then he left. A soldier with an interesting face came really close and said, Mr. George, you have been a very bad boy. You are going to prison for a long, long time. <laughs> I thanked him, like a good American citizen, and then it all went black. And here I am. Not your average vacation cruise, huh? It's gone. Ow! Darn rat! Aha. Uh -huh. No more rats, but there's something else there. A bracket. The mortar's loose around the stone. I just have to scrape it away. There. Now I'll be able to pull the stone out of the wall. Out comes the block. Uh, not bad, Yankee boy. Not the fastest I've seen, but at least I didn't lose my bet. Not that it do you any good. You're just breaking into the next cell. <laughs> now give me that bracket. You might cut yourself. Oh, and uh, someone's here to see you. I am Father Nicholas. This is Sister Immaculata. My son, you have suffered more than you deserve. I couldn't agree more. But remember, there are always others worse off than yourself. Oh, yeah? Well, I don't see them lining up to join me in here. News of your um, arrest reached our orphanage. The children understand that even the most damned of sinners may yet repent in the face of love and charity. Really? Nice of him to put it like that. They have donated these playthings to occupy your time until the execution. A what? Uh, I mean, uh, until the trial. From Jenap, these marbles. From Khalil, this little mechanical mouse. <laughs> From Erol, this squeaky toy. <laughs> and now, we must leave. There is a last client on death row, in need of prayer. Yeah? Well, give him my best, huh? And, uh, thanks for the toys. Just what I always wanted. On the roof! One hour! Be there! What? Hey! What did you say? Execution? Just what I need. Ah. 
Aha. I know how this works. Now, if only I had a bit of string and a magnet, I could get the key in no time. On second thought, I don't really want to touch that cheese. If the rat doesn't want it, neither do I. The marbles spread nicely in front of the door. Guard! I can just reach the key. A nice gag. That'll stop him yelling. With his hands and feet tied together, he's going nowhere. So the nun told me to meet her on the roof. How the hell am I going to get up there? Quick, while it's busy. Got it. A little mechanical mouse that you wind up. Let's give it a go. The mouse key is perfect for opening the can. Here, boy. Dinner. Oh, I'm back here. There's no way I can climb up there while the guards are patrolling the yard. Off you go, little mousy. Sometime soon he's going to set off the alarm. I don't want to be around when that happens. I can climb up the vine while the guards are distracted by the alarm. Right. On the roof. Now, where is that priest? Speak to me, little toy. Me. Ah, perfect. Who's there? What the? Play with me. Um, thanks for the toys, sister, but what do we do now? Pray for a miracle? No, Georges. You remain patient and ask politely. Nico! Mind my wimple, George. What would Father Nicholas say? But what are you doing here? Saving you from a heroic death, I think. Well, I appreciate it, but how did you get here and, and what's with the outfit? Oh, George, when you didn't call for so long, I began to despair. And then, 
I decided to renounce the world. Oh my god. You mean, you really are... a nun? Hey, Georges. Get real. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I, I knew that. So, you fancy a swim? With you? Anytime. But how? I've got a zip wire all rigged up, ready and waiting. Well, what's keeping us? Just like old times, huh? Let's go. Yeehaw! So that's how I ended up in jail. Well, you have been busy, Georges. And this girl, what's her name? Mandy? Angela? Anna Maria. It never occurred to you that she's been playing you for a sucker? What? Nico! She's run you like dumb and dumber, don't you see? No, I don't. She's a victim in all this, just like me. And she's wonderful and fantastic and the best thing that's ever happened to me. And if you don't want to help me, then you can... Okay, okay. Just needed to know how sure you were about this whole thing. Well, I am sure. Damn sure. Good. So now that's clear, Georges. What shall we do? Okay. I guess we need to get back into my room, somehow. Look for clues. Your cover's blown. So that's going to be up to me. I'll see if I can get us access to the rooms. Funny there's no cops here. I smell a trap. You're gonna be okay? Georges, I'm a little out of practice. But with an outfit like this, how difficult can it be, huh? Good luck. I'll hang back, keep my head down. Can I help you? You wouldn't appreciate this, but we always have the most fantastic celebrities staying here. Oh yes, that old lady, the crime writer, didn't she... Duh, get real. I'm talking pop stars, sportsmen, media giants, not fat old writers. And do you have any celebrities staying here now? Oh yes, we have Eamon O'Mara, THE Eamon O'Mara. Of course, he and I, we're like that now. Oh, like that? What a thought. Actually, what I really need is Eamon's room key. Oh, do you now? I can't really tell you why, but I'm a nun. You can trust me. Ha! Huh. If I gave you the key, you'd have to deal with Eamon himself. And I can tell you, last time I saw him, he was in a terrible mood. Actually, last time I saw him, he was in more than a terrible mood. What do you mean? He was dead. What? Gone. Passed away. But how? Took his own life. The poor, poor boy. But he and I were talking only an hour ago. Yes, it was very sudden. His heart was broken. Oh, God! By the way, he asked me to give you this photo of himself. So at the end, he was thinking of me? Oh, yes. He said, remember me to... to the receptionist. He said that? Well, more or less. I don't recall exactly. So all those things he said to me, those words, he meant everyone? Oh, he did, he did. He really loved me. Yes, with all his heart. Oh, can I have the key? Of course. No surprise they were guarding my room. If they'd spotted me, I'd have been toast. Maybe there's a back way to get in. Through the window. Yeah. Wait here, Nico. I'll see if I can climb down to the third floor. All right. Call me if you need anything. So, Anna Maria and I were in room 304, a corner room. Must be that one there.
What's this? A credit card receipt. I'd better take that. Anything to report, officer? No, sir. Nothing. All right. I'll take over now. But, sir, I've got my orders. And I'm giving you new ones. Go. Ah. Mr. Stobart. No, no. Don't be alarmed. Father Nicholas? Your favorite priest, no less. And cop, too, or is this another disguise? Cop, no. Somewhere within the panoply of Turkish military intelligence, yes. Oh, so you're a spook. You want to tell me what's going on? It is quite simple. When you flew into Istanbul, you triggered an alert. A mafia connection. Ah. Then, at Topkapi, you became a terrorist. Uh-huh. And finally, I realized you were just a treasure hunter. You figured right. A romantic profession. It appeals to my sense of drama. Glad you enjoyed the show. So, anyhow, now you are free. Go, please. Uh, there will be no guards downstairs, no problem at the airport. But what about Anna Maria? She's been kidnapped. So dramatic, Mr. Stobart. Kidnapped? <laughs> Run off, more like. Or maybe found a new boyfriend. Who knows? You have found another pretty girl. So forget her. No, it's not like that at all. Go now, Mr. Stobart. I cannot guarantee you free passage for long. You made it! Mevlet, or rather Father Nicholas, helped me out. Really? I'll tell you about it later. I found a credit card bill. I might be able to trace Anna Maria's address from this. It's a credit card receipt from Leonardo da Vinci Airport, signed by Anna Maria. Anna Maria lives in Rome? Well, she never mentioned that. Nico, I've got it. It's a Rome address. 128 Vicolo Serves Marite. Wow, the expensive part of town. So let's go see if she's home. Here we are. Vicolo Serves Marite. How about that, George? You've fallen for a girl who lives in the very heart of the most romantic city in the world. Uh-huh. Shame she never told you. Y there's a cruel streak in you, Nico, that I never saw before. Can I help at all? No, I'm fine. Just trying to get inside. Well, here's a little hint. Keys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what kind of idiot am I, huh? I wonder, what kind are you? Excuse me. Hello there. I'm George Stobart. Two B's, two T's. The name's Mark. Brother Mark. Apartment 07. License to sweep, huh? Oh, <laughs> very good. Yes, that's me to a T. Something of a movie fan, are you? Nothing I like more than watching an action hero in action. Yep, those guys perform miracles, don't they? Miracles? Oh, well, you know. So, what can I do for you? So, what do you do, Mark? I'm a priest. At least, I'm going to be. I'm a trainee. A novice. I thought you looked too young to be a priest. <laughs> well, thanks. You don't look so bad yourself. What a nice guy. Really friendly. I wonder if you can help us. We're looking for an apartment. 
128 Vicolo Serve Smerite, number eight. Well, isn't that a coincidence? It's right there, and I'm next door to number eight myself. Indeed, I know the lady who owns it. Do you mind me asking what your business with her might be? Oh, uh, we're renting the place from her. All the hotels are booked up. I see. Of course, with Il Papa's ecumenical service only days away, that's hardly surprising, is it? Yep, that old ecumenical service sure is as popular as ever. And yet, this is his first. We knew that. We knew that. That's why we're here. Il Papa's first. Go, Papa. Hmm. Well, enjoy your stay. And don't you worry. I'll be keeping a sharp eye out on you. So, tell me, your neighbor, Anna Maria, you know her quite well, do you? Oh, yes. Very pleasant girl. Not that I see much of her. How do you mean? She's never home for long. Bit of a jet-setter, if you ask me. Any idea what she does? I might and I might not. And if I did, I'm not sure I'd tell all and sundry. Oh. The main door to the apartment block is locked. I, I don't suppose you have a key, do you? I do, but I don't lend it out. Maybe you have a spare? I do, but I'm not going to tell you where it is. Hmm. Just be careful around that car, please. You sure love your car, huh? What a shine. Oh no, it's THE car. From my favorite action film of all time, In Cold Blood, starring Lucy Chu. Wow. Yes, wow. It was driven by Lucy Chu in a scene which was kept back for the special DVD. It must mean a lot to you. If anything happened to it, I think I'd die. Or worse. Excuse me. No, 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 excuse me. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm George Stobart. Well, somebody has to be. And you are? The Right Honorable, the Viscount Lonsdale. But you can call me Lord Lonsdale. Or my Lord. Or just Lonsdale. Or Archie. Whatever pulls your goat. Eh, what? Brother Mark says there's a spare key for that block of flats. I don't suppose you know where it's hidden. Oh yes, the key! Yes, I, I know where the key is, all right. Well? Well what? Where's the key? The key? Well, where it always is, you fool. Under the plant pot to the left of the doorway. But you won't get it. He's damn cunning, that priest. We'll see. What do you know about Mark's car? Gets more attention than I've had hot women. Or is that dinners? If anything happens to it, the poor chap falls apart, comes to pieces. Tiny, tiny pieces. Hey, Archie. You seem a little distracted. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah. You seem to like my friend over there. Oh, what a girl! Face of an angel and the body of a Valkyrie warrior maiden. Lucky it's not the other way around, huh? Reminds me of my good lady wife. Oh, did something bad happen? Monte Cassino happened, old boy. Winter of 43. Me and General Lease up against Kesselring. Two against one? Good odds. I was the outsider. Caught a blighty one. <laughs> Never made it home. Hey, that's tough. Getting wounded. Wounded? Don't be silly, no? I got, I got drunk. I, I ran off with a nurse and opened the bar in Palermo. You are all heart, Archie. It's all hard, no liver, to be precise. <laughs> hey! Get your hands off my shrubs! I didn't touch your shrubs! Well, anyone can see you want to. I've got to find a way to distract this guy. I say, Jimmy, 
I, I, I may be drunk, but I can still see you in a blurry sort of way. Now, leave my bread alone. But it looks so tempting. Stealing from a tramp. Have you no shame? Would you try and charm Mark to see if you can get us into the apartment? How do you mean? Well, you know, use your feminine wiles to get the key to the apartment block. You really think it's going to work on him? Duh, he's a guy, isn't he? Well done, Nico. The bread is now mine. It's a cheap trick, but it ought to work. Oh no! My Lucy! My little Lucy! Go on! Shoo! Get away! That'll keep them busy. Here it is. Damn it, it's locked. Nico, I'm going outside to try and find another way into the apartment. You wait here and watch the corridor for anyone coming. Yes, sir. Whatever you say, sir. Have we got a problem here? You want to try asking instead of telling for a change, George. Hey, you're right. I'm sorry. What would you like to do, Nico? How about I wait here and watch the corridor? Well, that's a good idea. Let's do that. All that work and the door is locked. There must be a way in. Aha! Stobart Industries is on to another winner. Ta da! Well done, Georges. Now let's find out who this girl really is. I don't believe it. It's a picture of Anna Maria, dressed as a nun. Cute nun. Uh, very cute. So what's the deal? This nun is Anna Maria. No way. 
Yes, way. Very way. In a big way. Whoa! You've been dating a nun, Georges. A nun! Well, she wasn't wearing all that gear when I met her. In some countries, they execute you for that, Georges. Well, maybe she's not a real nun. Maybe she's at a costume party. Yeah, and those goons who attacked you in New York with the seven dwarves. Okay, you've had your fun. Now this is serious. Sorry, Georges. You're right. What's that she's standing in front of? I think it says... Memento Mori? It looks like it could be part of the Vatican walls. Terrific. They go for miles. Yep, they do. We should maybe look for something else to narrow it down. I'll take this. You never know when it might come in handy. Too bad I left my nun outfit back in Istanbul. Might have been useful. Eh, it didn't really suit you. Guess you're the expert. Oh, funny. Very funny. Airline ticket stub. Where from? Phoenix, Arizona. And just a few weeks ago. What was she doing in Phoenix? Nun convention? Oh, very funny. A little light bedtime reading, I see. I guess I'm more of an easy reading kind of guy these days. So, maybe Anna Maria is a nun. What have I done? One metro ticket and some pocket lint. Where's the ticket for? Kipro Musee Vaticani Station. Uh, that's somewhere near the Vatican walls, I think. Perhaps that's close to where the photo of Anna Maria was taken. I've got enough information to work with now. Nico, I'm going to follow up this nun lead. Sure. I'll stay here and look through these books. Well, you don't want to come with me? No, thanks. I'll wait here until you get back. Aha! So you managed to get in, then? Yes, thank you. Through the door, I see. Yep. With a key? Uh-huh. Oh, the key. You know what? I had it in my pocket all along. I see you've made yourself at home, too. Well, when in Rome... When in Rome? When in Rome... Make yourself at home. Hmm. I don't suppose you know when Anna Maria will be back. I have a package for her. Ah, uh, she could be gone for some time. You'd better give it to me. No, I don't think so. I'll keep it for now. Wouldn't like it to fall into the wrong hands. Good day now. Uh, yeah. Have a nice one. Where should I go? I think I'll go to the Vatican. So the metro ticket was a clue. Just a short walk and here I am. It's the place in the photograph. I wonder what's behind those walls. The plaque reads, Monastery of the Order of St. Michael. So this place is a monastery? The possibility of Anna Maria being a nun is becoming all too real. Excuse me. Yes? I was wondering if you could answer a few questions for me. I don't think so. Oh, that's a shame. I was praying that you would. Were you now? Praying sincerely? Well, I didn't do the whole on the knees number. Mm. All right. Since you have at least tried to ask nicely, I shall spare you a couple of minutes. So, what's a nun like you doing in a place like this? Was that meant to be a joke? Well, it didn't start out as one, but I think I took a wrong turn somewhere. I don't like jokes. What? Never? Jokes distract from the pursuit of inner peace. Oh. Heard the one about the actress and the bishop? No! And I don't want to. You're lost, sister. 
Sister Angelica to you. Have you ever seen this woman before? No, never. Are you sure? This looks like it was taken outside the doorway to the Holy Order. Are you calling me a liar? No, sorry. I was just... If you must know, I haven't been here for very long. Perhaps she was before my time. Hello? Ah, yes. I was wondering if you could help me. I'll do my best. I'm Sister Serena. How can I help? What can you tell me about the Holy Order of St. Michael? Why, you're talking to one of its sisters. So this building is part of the same place as the Holy Order? That's correct, even though we are a separate entity. We fall under the umbrella of the Holy Order of St. Michael. And what a beautiful umbrella that must be. It's not a real umbrella. Oh. That's just a way of speaking. Sure. Perhaps you can tell me, what is this place? Why, we're the Sisters of Mercy Communion Wafer Supplies. We've been making communion wafers for over 70 years. The ladies of the wafer, they call us. Ah, so you make the little wafers that people eat in church. We prefer to think of them as humble slivers of bread, transformed through the miracle of transubstantiation, into the body and blood of Christ himself. Yeah, that's what I meant. Can you tell me, have you seen this woman before? Hmm, I don't recognize the face, but I've only been here for about a year. Maybe she was here before my time. Maybe. Just what do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted one of those tissues on your desk. Did it not occur to you to ask? <laughs> Sneeze first, ask questions later. <laughs> That's what I was taught. How long have you been making communion wafers? How did you know we made communion wafers? Uh, it says it in the guidebook. Well, as it happens, we are the leading communion wafer developer in the world. Way to go! Got it. The number for the wafer factory is 0039-06-69815956. Hello, Sisters of Mercy Communion Wafer Supplies. Sister Serena speaking, how may I help you? Um, I would like to speak to a Sister Angelica of the Sisters of Mercy, please. Certainly. Who may I say is calling? It's Brother Angus from St. Peregrine's, please. Just one moment, please. Sister Angelica, phone call! It's her schedule for the day. Hmm. Looks like the health inspector's coming. Here she is. Time to put this back where I found it. Hello, Sister Angelica. You again. What is it this time? Right. My name is Henry Steiner. And I am the health inspector. But, uh, um, you're not due to arrive until tomorrow. They fall for it every time. Um, this is highly irregular. We're not ready. You're supposed to be always ready. 
Let's see what your boss has to say. No, wait. <laughs> I'm sure it's all right. Um, come to the door at the side and I'll let you in. <laughs> Thank you so much, sister. The Sisters of Mercy welcome you, Mr. Steiner. You're in luck. We're just about to run a batch. My assistant, Sister Serena, will give you the tour. The complete tour, I hope? No exceptions? Of course. Follow me, please. I better keep Herr Steiner going till I can find a way through this place and into the monastery. This factory has been the center of wafer production in Rome for nearly 80 years now. In 2000, we decided to automate the process, hence the Communion Companion 5XLI. The Communion Companion 5XLI? Why, yes. Carry on. This machine has revolutionized our wafer production process and maximized output. First, the wafer ingredients are fed into the mixer to make the dough. The dough is then fed along the conveyor and into the cutter. From the cutter, the biscuits are... Stop! Oh. You said biscuits. I mean wafers. Yes, you do. Carry on. Oh. Anyway, the wafers are transferred to the ovens for baking. From the oven, they are cooled in the fresh air. Then the wafers are packed, ready for delivery all over the globe. Thank you for visiting the Sisters of Mercy, and enjoy your stay in our beautiful city. That pile of boxes is a health hazard. All it needs is one person to knock them over and there'll be wasted wafers everywhere. Please, make sure they're safe. Of course. I'll check them now. Serene is tidying the boxes. She's not interested in me for the moment. This'll shake her for a while. Sister Serena, could I see you here for a moment, please? What is that? Oh, my word. How on earth? I don't believe it. Section 12 of Bylaw 38B, Section C, clearly states that all areas for the packing of food must be kept separate from the areas of food consumption. I don't know how... or it can't be, but I, I never... This is a clear violation, and the penalty for violations is severe. Please, please, let me clean it up. I'll double-check everything. I don't want to go back to polishing candlesticks. Ha! Polishing! You should be so lucky. We are talking prison here. Prison? Holy Mother! Oh, do stop that ridiculous display. But I feel so guilty. And you are, however. Yes? If you ensure... There's not a scrap of food remaining. I might overlook the matter. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get right on it. The place has to be spotless. Of course, of course. Will you be okay looking round on your own? Well, I shall just have to be. Fantastic. Now I've got the run of the place. The box is firmly taped down. I'm not going to be able to open it quietly that way. I'll have that, thank you very much. It's a miniature bottle of red wine with a screw cap. Very classy. Just see into the mixing machine. 
Large blades are spinning and mixing a fresh batch of dough. I'm a naughty, 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 naughty head inspector. Now all I have to do is let it work its way through. Now then, Sister Serena, the next batch is ready. I'm sure you appreciate perfection, Mr. Steiner. Oh, yes, but I rarely witness it. Outside my own bailiwick, of course. Bailiwick? Bless you. Hmm. Well, here we go. The next batch of classic wafers. So this is the color of perfection? Uh, 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 but uh, how could this happen? Two little words, Sister Angelica. Sloppy maintenance. But that machine is cleaned every day. In this case, it would seem cleanliness is not next to godliness. I have no choice but to close this place down. Please, no. We have a large order to complete. Such a shame I was not made more welcome. Oh, Mr. Steiner, there must be something we can do. One so rarely hears the word sorry these days. Wouldn't you agree, sister? Sorry? Oh, I see. Mr. Steiner, I am very sorry for this terrible lapse. Hmm. Hmm. With feeling? Very, very sorry. Well, I suppose if you can fix it now, then I might overlook the issue. But it has to be spotless. <laughs> of course. You make yourself comfortable, and we'll knuckle down to it. Gardens full of monks. Jackpot. Mmm, plush. I'm in the wrong business. Interesting taste in paintings, too.
It's a file with Anna Maria's name written on the front. What do you think you're doing? Office supplies, uh, routine follow-up. Uh, gotta make sure you got no problem with the drawers. What? Monsignor Devlin! Anyhow, uh, these look tip-top to me. Well done. Would you like to comment on our after-sales service? You called your eminence. Escort this gentleman to the street. I believe he is lost. Oh, uh, one last thing. What do you know about Anna Maria? What? Get him out of here now. And make sure these doors are locked so this doesn't happen again. Ah, Father Gregor. His eminence is he? A storm in a teacup, Father. Office supplies. Was that the best you could come up with? Stinks, huh? What are you now? A journalist? A lawyer. And your connection with this Anna Maria? I knew in New York some people were trying to kill her. Extraordinary. I know. The Mafia, would you believe? Anyhow, I heard she worked here. Tell him, Monsignor. Anna Maria was indeed part of our order. She worked here in the library. Two years ago, she stole some manuscripts and disappeared. The scandal was kept out of the papers. The Cardinal was furious. He vowed to find her and bring her to justice. His wrath is most terrible to behold. Yeah, most terrible, all right. We have always feared the worst, the poor misguided child. But there can be no place for scandal here, sir. Here, my card. Oh, but please, no publicity. I understand. Goodbye, Father. Monsignor, goodbye. So, I'm a little closer to knowing what's going on. And at least Anna Maria wasn't officially a nun when we... Uh, the time to get back to Nico. Hey, Nico, I found out some things about Anna Maria. Really? Well... She's not a nun. At least, not anymore. I had reached the same conclusion. It would be strange for a nun to have a shelf full of books on particle physics. Oh, hello again. Settling in, are we? It's terrific, thank you. When in Rome, eh? Exactly. So, what can I do you for? Mark, I feel it's time I let you in on a little secret. Oh, George, I knew all along. Don't you worry now, you can tell Uncle Mark. I'm a member of the Vatican Internal Investigation Team, working under the guise of Father Gregor. Here's my card. But you're American. That may be so, but I'm highly trained. Gosh! I need you to trust me. And help me. It's of the utmost importance. I'm working for the top. You understand the top, Mark? You mean? Yep, I mean. The big enchilada. The very one. You want to be on his team, Mark? Oh, sign me up. I've trained all my life for this, believe me. Mark, can I ask you a few questions? Shoot from the hip, George. That seems to be your style. So, now you know that I'm a member of the Vatican Internal Investigation Team, may I take control of Anna Maria's package? Is she being investigated? That's classified, Mark. But if this is a sensitive Vatican parcel, it should remain in close proximity to me, for safety's sake. I understand. Here you are. Thank you, Mark. I have friends in high places who will know of your role in this. You don't mean... Very high places, Mark. In fact, the highest. Oh. Oh. A plain brown package with Anna Maria's name and address. 
Inside, there's just a plain DVD with no writing or message. Let's see if there's anything on this DVD. And finally, just when you thought diamonds were the ultimate gift, maybe it's time to rethink gold. No, not the kind of gold you put round your sweetheart's neck. We're talking monatomic gold. Let's go live now to Phoenix, Arizona to find out more. Susie, are you there? Bob, I'm here in the desert with Ronald Maynard, a truly remarkable man who's made a discovery which could transform mankind. So, what's the story, Mr. Maynard? What? Oh, right. Uh, ever since I was a kid, I, I've been interested in alchemical myths. You know those stories about turning base metal into gold? Why I became a chemist. So anyways, I was out here about three years ago looking for crystals when I found this powder. White powder that was kind of... Well, it didn't behave, you see. It, it should. I mean, it was gold. But it wasn't heavy. It was, it was light. So I did some experiments. And it was gold, but not like any gold that should exist. You could use it to fly, or to heal wounds, or project maybe into another universe. You see, the Egyptians wrote about it, the manna from heaven, remember? So anyhow, that's what I've got. And I've got a lab now that makes it. Tons of it. And I want to give it to the world. Wow, that's amazing. So, Mr. Maynard, you're just going to hand this wonderful substance over. A gift to mankind. What? Are you crazy? Of course not. I didn't say that. I'm going to sell it. To the highest bidder, what's wrong with you people? Damn reporters, you never you do your research. Ah, that is a shame. We seem to have lost our link there to Susie Balloon out there in Phoenix, Arizona. Well, until next week, be careful of yourself. Don't stub a toe. So, we got a place in Phoenix where some wacko gold is being extracted. Why send this to Anna Maria? I think it's connected to her books, George. Geological Surveys of Phoenix, Manuals on Metal Extraction and Purification. So, Anna Maria flies to Phoenix a lot, and is studying monatomic gold. I don't get it. I think the answer's in Phoenix, Georges. Do you think we should go there, to the lab? I'll go. What if she's there? I'll give her your blessing. Sorry, Georges. Couldn't resist. I'll head straight off to the airport. What will you do? Look for clues, talk to people, I guess. Be careful. I'll be in touch. Wait. This plant in Phoenix might have high security. I'll flash you a cool hacking tool I use. I'm impressed. You've been going to night school. Gotta move with the times, Nico. So I see. Now, stay away from the nuns while I'm gone. Cheap gag, Nico. Bye. Hello again. Hey, Mark. I picked this pen up a while ago. Do you recognize the symbol? Hmm. That pen is from the Black Cat Massage Parlor in the Old Town. It's a... a... club for the clergy from the Vatican. A club for clergy? Yes, a clergy club. Even priests need somewhere to wind down, you know. Oh, I get it. A winding down club. So, are you a member? Anyone who's anyone round here belongs to the Black Cat. So why would Anna Maria have one of their pens? How should I know? So you frequent the Black Cat, huh? After a grueling session with the choir, there's nothing I like better than to be laid out, oiled up, and softened all over. Yeah, I bet. So who else goes to this place? Ah, now that would be telling. And how do I find it? It's in the old town. Go down Chiasso delle Zingari. You can't miss it. I think I'll go to the Black Cat Massage Parlor. Chiasso delle Zingari. Well, this is it, all right.
Admittance for members only, sir. Members only. Capish? This club is exclusively for members. Good, kind, religious folk. Membership's closed, okay? Oh, what a shame. I've heard the massages here are very special. I think you heard the wrong. This is a nice steam rooms for good, kind, quiet folk. So, Mark, I need to get into the Black Cat. I see. In need of a little stress relief, are we? Actually, it's internal affairs business. Of course, of course. I'll need your card to get in. But I can't do that. You take an oath at the club, never to lend your card. Betray the oath, and you're barred for life. But we're talking the security of the whole church here. Easy for you to say. You haven't had a massage at the Black Cat. Mark, I've got a little something I know you're gonna like. Why, George, aren't you the Dark Horse? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I have here a photograph of Lucy Chu. Oh, George! It's heavenly! I'm aching with jealousy! Oh, quickly, Lord, forgive me! I wouldn't bank on it, Mark. So, Mark, I bet you'd love a picture of Lucy Chu just like this. Hmm, what I'm really after is something a little more personal. Something that says, I was meant for you. I've signed the photograph on the back. The message should be ambiguous enough. I forgot to mention, Mark, that photo of Lucy Chu, it's signed. Wow! Oh, that's amazing! She hardly ever signs anything. What does it say? To my biggest fan, may the heavens shine upon you for your support. Love, Lucy. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss? Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh, I'm hot with envy. Oh, something like that would stand up proud as a centerpiece in my collection. Would you be willing to part with that photograph? Well, I don't know. I mean, it is signed. Okay. How about I give you, and I can't believe I'm doing this, my Black Cat membership card? Oh, I don't know, Mark. You could get into big trouble doing that. Trouble? <laughs> trouble is my middle name. Well, since you're such a huge fan of Lucy Chu, I'll do it. Oh, George, you don't know how happy you've made me. I think I can guess. Here you go, George, and thanks again. All right, you can enter. Welcome to the Black Cat, Signor. Well, aren't you in a hurry? Please change before going through, sir. Get your own, Signor. There. That looks better. If I turn the valve a little... Ah, oh, hot water at last. A bellissimo. Time to change. <laughs> ah, that's better. I'll leave all my stuff in one of the lockers for the time being. My things should be safe in there till I need them again. This is a gentleman's club after all. Have one on me, senor. Oh, thanks. What a kind thought.
George, my old friend, how are you? Dwayne? My God, is that you? You know me, George, always in the thick of it. Dwayne. God, the first time I met Dwayne and his wife Pearl was in South America. Back then, he nursed this insane idea that he was in the CIA. <laughs> Things haven't changed. Tell me about this place. It's discount the priests. And that's you these days, is it? Heck, if it gets me air miles, I'll join anything. Is this place owned by the Mafia? Yep, run by a fella named Spalacci. Spalacci, here? He's not a guy you want to mess with. Yeah, I've seen him at work. What else do you know about Spalacci? He's got the ear of the Vatican. Don't tell me they want it back. Yeah, that's funny. I'm funny's good, George, but not with this guy. How's Pearl? Uh, blooming as always, George. In fact, you just reminded me. I've got to get her some Mozart Kugeln before I go home. Mozart Kugeln? Right now. I'm in Salzburg. You know what I mean? What are you really doing here? Uh, just following the gold, George. Rumor is someone else is out there doing the same. Hmm. Maybe that's me. It could be you. It could be a foreign power. Could be my friends over at Langley. I thought you were Langley. Langley? Moi? You gotta move with the times, George. Move with the times. That's the madman who stole my towel. Well, George, time for me to disappear. Well, well, well. So who do we have here? A emergency plumber? Where's the girl? Girl? What girl? Anna Maria. You should know. You kidnapped her. I see. What about the money? What money? The large sum of money. You're asking the wrong guy. Mr. Stobart, please answer my questions. It will make everything so much less painful in the end. Senior Spalacci, sir. We got a girl. You mean the girl? No, sir. I don't think so. This one's different. She's called... Hey, lady! What's your name? Nico. Nico Collard. Nico? Hey! Nico! It's me, George! She still won't talk, Mr. Spalacci, sir. A very tiresome. What shall I do with her, Mr. Spalacci? This Nico. What does she know? Nothing. She's just a journalist, I promise you. Mr. Spalacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. Stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your... Ugh, I didn't actually mean... Nico! Oh, my head. Where am I? Nico. Oh my god, what did I do? I feel like I've been here for hours. I've cleared that for you, sir. Keep the stick, sir. Yeah, now the floor is slippery, and now I can slide on it. Free. Now, how do I get out of here? That's Spalacci. Who's he talking to? The American met Anna Maria, but doesn't know where she went. What about the girl? She was just a journalist. Knows nothing. Knew nothing, I should say. These uh, accidents are inevitable. 
time is running out. It is imperative you find Anna Maria. As you wish. Will you be staying? We have one or two interesting specials on the menu today. My God, that's Cardinal Ginelli. The Vatican is in league with the Mafia? Thank you, my friend. But in these circumstances, I think perhaps not uh, appropriate. Of course, Your Eminence. I shall lock up then. And if Anna Maria is not being held by the Mafia, then where the hell is she? Aha! Psst! Psst! George! Over here! Down here in the drain, George! Wayne? Is that you? Hi, George. Thought you might need a bit of help up there. Hey, Dwayne. Uh, why are you down the drain? You know me, George. Always in the thick of it. Dwayne? They killed Nico. Ah, shoot. I'm real sorry to hear that, George. You better get yourself out of harm's way. Don't do anything rash now. I got you a key to the laundry room. You can get out that way, only... Yeah? I can't get my hand through to give it to you. Any ideas? Ugh. Finally, I can get dressed again. Great. I've got all my things again. The rosary's now got a clip attached. Good work, George. I'll attach the key. Now, I'd better scoot. Look after yourself, George. Thanks, Dwayne. Dwayne's attached the key. Fantastic. What now? <laughs> Does it even matter? Nico's dead. I need a drink. Or two. And if one green bottle should accidentally fa fall, there'll be no green bottles banging on the wall. <laughs> well, George, and there's me thinking you were a quiet one. Now, why aren't I dead yet? Oh, for pity's sake, finish me off. When you're back to your usual self, you'll be pleased to know the gas men have fixed the leak in Anna Maria's apartment. Terrific! Leave the oven door open, I'll be right up. Must be off. Hang on. Anna Maria doesn't have gas in her apartment. It's all electric. Then what do they want? Huh? It looks like they've left us a present. Oh my god! Is that what I think it is? Well, if you're thinking it's a crudely constructed bomb that could blow the whole block of the kingdom come, then you'd be right. If we leave it alone, maybe it won't go off. Mm, I wish that were the case, but that little timer on top tells me different. Mark, we need to defuse it. We? What do you mean, we? Hmm. Looks like we've got ten minutes. But do you know what to do? No. But I'm sure the military will have something like this on their database. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Yeah, call them too if you think they can help.
Hey, Mark. I need your help. You got it, George. It's gonna be dangerous. Bring it on. You're not scared? I believe in the eternal afterlife, George. Why should I possibly be scared? Hmm. Good point. Mark, I need your rubber gloves. George, this is no time for cleaning. We need to defuse that thing. The military field notes say that static can trigger a bomb. I need to wear some non-conductive gloves, and rubber will be brilliant. Well, why didn't you say? Here, they go with your eyes. Uh, yeah, thanks, I think. Paper clip attaches to the negative wire going into the trigger box. Which other wire should I bridge with the paper clip? Let's try this out. Maybe it'll work. Well, the bomb didn't go off. That's the first part done. Now, to cut the right wire. Well, here goes. Mark, I did it! We saved the building! I never doubted it for a moment, George. I think I'll take this for safekeeping. Oh no! They're back! Well, if they are, they'll be sorry they came back so soon. Right, you take the... Well, hello, boys. What's this? Playtime? Hmm, George, nice gloves. George? George, what's the matter, George? But you're dead. Dead tired, that's for sure. But I heard the shot. You screamed. I assume. Never assume anything when it comes to me, George. You should know that. You could have at least called me. My phone got zapped. It's useless. Maybe you better tell me what happened. Well, I had a nice flight, caught some great movies. And by the time I reached Phoenix, I was sure I was going to find something big. Why don't you tell me about it? Where is everyone? If they once made monatomic gold here, they certainly don't anymore. The place has been blown up. And recently. There's a jack handle, but no jack. Worth grabbing, though. Break. Off. A good-sized piece of rubble. So, how deep is the hole? What? 
pretty deep. Maybe with a bit of a push. So, how deep is the hole? Hmm, not that deep. It's an office, and some kind of loading bay. Looks like the secretary's wedding photo. The date scribbled in the corner. That's the right code! Where am I? Anyone there? Phew, there's a strong smell of fish in there. Someone's been cooking recently. Standing on the table, I can reach it. A stick of gum. Great. I hate gum. Oh my god, a different smell, but just as bad. At a guess. The men's locker room. I can't get a proper grip with my bare hands. Door, meet Jack Handle. Let's have that oil. Locked. An old-fashioned lock. Locked with an old-fashioned lock. No hacking through there. Wait! The door's locked. <laughs> Mr. Spilacci, what do you want me to do? Apparently she knows nothing. Just deal with her. 
stick that gun in my face one more time and I'll shove it up your... Hey, sorry, lady. Nothing personal. You can't beat the AK-47. <laughs> Soldier's best friend. I'm jealous already. Hey, who are those guys? At the guess, I'd say Mafia. Yeah, I thought so. They want to destroy me, but they won't! <laughs> I'm too clever for them! <laughs> oh, I'm uh, Maynard. Who are you? I'm a journalist. Oh, yeah? From Paris. I saw you on TV. Talking about the gold. You were pretty good. No, not good. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm brilliant! Nobody else in the world has done what I've done! Not for thousands of years, anyhow. Monatomic gold! It's real! I've made it! Here! You must be very proud. Proud? Of course I'm proud! The pharaohs! They were the first, you know. Then Moses, he had the secret. He made the gold like me, in the desert. It's magical. Kills people, but saves them too. Stops disease, but wipes out millions. No wonder they were scared, huh? But I wasn't. I tanked it. It's beautiful, you know. Whoa, you're not, you're not here to steal it, are you? No, I'm here to tell your story. To the world. Hmm. Follow me. My own design. What do you think? It's amazing. Uh, brilliant! I know. The gold goes in there, the machine focuses the energy, then wham! Wallop! Mon-atomic gold! Lots of it. Output was fantastic. They wanted as much as I could make, so I made as much as they could ship. <laughs> Who's they? My clients. Why did they want it? For a weapon. A big weapon. I know that's what they were doing, and I hate them. I hate them. But that's terrible. You're damn right, he's terrible. They didn't ask me to help. <laughs> How mad is that? I mean, I love weapons. I'm brilliant at weapons. Weapons are my second favorite subject. Next to gold, huh? No, no. Next to girls. Girls, girls. Oh, man, I even like the word girls. So was there some kind of accident? No, oh, those other men. They came. Blew it all up. Mad. Mad! Mad! You wanna know something? I eat this stuff. Oh yeah. Every day. Protected me, you see, from their bombs. That was lucky. Lucky? Lucky? Are you insane? I mean... unlucky. So, what happened to Anna Maria? You her friend? No. Oh no. She's not my friend. In fact, I hate her. Good! I hate her too! She's a bitch! A swindling bitch! Took all my money! Millions of dollars! She hid it. I'll show you. It's in here. It must be my money! Oh, but I can't open it! I've tried everything! How about... Yeah? Putting the safe in the centrifuge. What? But that would be... Insane? Totally. But would it work? You bet. It's the best idea I ever had! Let's do it! The control panel works, but the chain's rusted in place. Pour a bit of oil over the chain. Let's hope the hook's going to hold.
The safe's down on the rollers. The panel's dead. Not wired up, I guess. I could hold the two pieces of wire together, but they won't stay there when I let go. Ugh! I hate gum! The piece of gum will hold the wire together. Just. The electrics sound okay now, but the panel still doesn't work. I've connected the wires, but it still doesn't work. I'll fix it. There you go, good as new. The panels worked, but only partially. I can move all the rollers at once, but not separately. Could you give me a hand? Need a strong man, huh? Yes, but you'll do. Hey, don't get lippy with me, young lady. There's one person with an AK-47 in this room, and it ain't you! <laughs> it's no use. There's a safety mechanism. It's not meant to have an object that size inside. Can't you override it? The safety override button is inside the centrifuge. Ah. But hey, if you operate it out here, I can hold the button then come out at the last minute. Sounds dangerous to me. Sounds fun to me, huh? Are you sure that's safe? Safe? Hey, what's the point of safe? All right, press the button. Okay. Here goes.
I'll have the folder and keys. Hmm. A bank statement and a technical drawing. The statement shows that the factory has received a large amount of money from St. Michael, account number three. Very interesting. What was that noise? Sounded like a big machine, boss. A big machine? I know that, you idiot, but what did it do? Don't know, boss. Find the girl, but watch out. That maniac's gotta be around somewhere. Vito! Go out and stay in the hall. Don't let him use the elevator. Yes, boss. They're in the big hall. Time to get out of here. Uh-oh. There's a guard on the elevator room. Bus? Is that you? Stay by the elevator door, Vito. Yes, bus. A lot of oil on the floor around the catch. It's slippery now, all right. Releasing the door. Who's there? Door locked. Time to get out of there. You better not have left the key in the lift, Vito. Come on, boss. I ain't that stupid. <laughs> You're so stupid, you don't even know how stupid you are. <laughs> Phew. That was close. a screw-up. What you talking about? The boss isn't very happy about this, Mr. Fingers. What you mean, the boss? I am the boss. That's not what Mr. Spalacci says. He wants to speak to you himself. Just putting him on now, Mr. Spalacci. After that, I flew straight back here. So the Order of St. Michael funded the whole Phoenix operation? And Anna Maria ran it. What happened to the gold? Maynard didn't know. You think Anna Maria does? Did. Remember, she wanted you to help her find a missing treasure. Treasure? Exactly. But what kind? What, the elixir of life? Some kind of wonder cure for every illness? Or a weapon. No. No, Maynard was crazy. You can't believe him. Why should he lie? Anna Maria wouldn't have got mixed up in... Maynard was vaporized. That powder, the gold, it's a fuel, Georges. Fuel for a weapon. Believe me. Well now, I've made a lovely pot of tea. We need to go back and check out the monastery. Oh? Oh, what's happened? Let me come with you. Sorry, Mark. You better leave this to us. I can handle myself. It could be dangerous. We need you here, in case something goes wrong. I always miss the fun. We're not in this for the fun, Mark. Come on, Nico. Let's go. The square is lifeless. Perfect conditions for sneaking in. What do you think you're doing? Oh, just admiring your bottle of meths? That, that's got to last me till sunrise, you know. 
You sure live the high life, Archie. Hey, a half-full bottle of Krug champagne. Vatican. Party City. <laughs> hey, Archie, can you spare a minute? That's all I can spare, old boy. Look what I just found. A vintage bottle of Krug. The best champagne in the world. I'd give my right arm for that. Ah, uh, reminds me of the old days. Christmas tree lights, foul Thames, twinkling, plateful of shepherd's pie, the great and the good. Where are they now, eh? Where are they now? How would you like to do a trade for your mess? Well, it depends on what you've got to trade. How about the bottle of Krug for your meths? You've got yourself a deal, Mr. Stubbles. Hand it over and let the good times roll. <laughs> Enjoy the meths, rather on the sweet side for my taste, as it happened. The meths are mine. I can feel the arsonist in me coming back to the surface. Oh, the smell of the meths makes my eyes sting. Well, here goes. The guards will be coming any moment. Time to hide. Emergency. Emergency. The bin is burning. The bin is burning. Now that the guards have their hands full, I can get inside unnoticed. So, a secret room containing a secret machine. What are you talking about? This is our backup machine for special orders. Now, how did you get in here? And do I have to call the Swiss guard before you'll leave? I think the sister and I need to have ourselves a little chat. What are you planning to do? Let's just say we need to get sisterly. You check around in here. It won't take long. Good luck. Oh, uh, you too, sister. You're gonna need it. Batch of wafers cooling down on the conveyor. Hmm, they smell good. Well, no one's watching. I'll have one. Hmm, pretty good. I'm sure another wouldn't do any harm. Something in the darkness. No, it can't be. At the base of the mixing vats, traces of gold dust. It's monatomic gold. But what's this stuff doing near a wafer making machine? Huh? I can hear Nico returning with Sister Angelica. I think she'll cooperate now. Won't you, Sister? So, this wafer machine. What's it for? Special orders. I think for Il Papa himself. And what makes them special? The holy powder, of course. As a matter of fact, we've just finished a run tonight. Don't you think it's a bit strange having a special powder to make a special batch of wafers? I just do what I'm told. What's happened, Georges? I found traces of monatomic gold in this machine. But why would the church be putting gold into communion wafers? One thing's for sure. 
It's not to protect their teeth. Where's the rest of this holy powder? I have no idea. A batch came in and left almost immediately. It's being used for something else, I suppose. Someone's coming. But no one uses the factory at night. Quickly, shut the doors. Cardinal Gianelli. I don't think he's catching up on his paperwork. That's very odd. He never uses the factory entrance. I think we need to follow him. Um, what should I do? Stay here and pray for forgiveness. Look, Nico, there he is. Considering he's the boss, he looks pretty shifty. He must be headed for the offices. I'll go across the garden. You wait under those trees. Once I'm safely across, you join me. Sure thing, Georges. What took you so long, Georges? What the? You know me. I'm not one to hang around. That's what I've always liked about you, Nico. A fast mover. Devlin's office door is slightly open. I can hear movement inside. There's someone in there. Shh! Hey, Nico. Take a look. Those are Devlin's files. What's he up to? Correct me if I'm wrong here, Cardinal, but isn't that somebody else's safe? Or do you just not give a damn any longer? You. Haven't you done enough damage? No, oh, we've only just started. And we don't have much time. Where's the weapon? <laughs> you ask me? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. Yes, Your Eminence, don't pretend. Good timing, guys. So it is true, Monsignor Depper. You and the Americans were working together all along. Once again, Your Eminence, you fail to understand what is happening in front of your own eyes. We were working with Americans, but not this one. We must all be prepared to die for our faith. May the Lord forgive me. Nelly was weak. He refused to let us build the weapon. But the weapon is our destiny! God granted it to the Order hundreds of years ago to smite the infidel when the time was right. And the time is right now, but Ginelli wouldn't listen. He was going to stop us. Fortunately, we found you in time. We couldn't have done it without you, Mr. Stobart. You translated the manuscripts, found the cherub, and even stopped the cardinal for us tonight. Remarkable. Oh, any time. So, what happens now? We change the course of the world. And if we hadn't turned up when we did, he might have been able to stop us. But why? 
He betrayed the Order two years ago by forbidding us to use the Ark. Only Father Gregor and I have the strength to fulfill the Order's destiny. To smite the infidel and prove the righteousness of the one faith. You mean kill everyone who hasn't taken on religion? It is our calling. So what happens now? We can use her, but we don't need him. You're right. Take her downstairs. Well, what happens to me? You're going to a much better place. Wake up, George! Wake up! Oh, where's my wheelbarrow? What? I'm so sick and tired of being knocked out. All part of the job, I guess, for you. Mark? How did you get here? Abseiling's not as dangerous as it looks. So I see. I've been training all my life for this moment, George. Where's Nico? I don't know. He's alive. You must stop them. Nobody else here knows about this. Only you. But what are they doing? Where are they? They have the Ark. The Ark? And they have the gold to power it. I tried to stop them. You use the Mafia? God will forgive me. But the girl, Anna Maria, she was too clever for me. For me too. But your eminence, what will the Ark do? The Angel of Death will rise up and destroy the unbelievers for miles around. Only those whose faith is true will be saved. Devlin believes it will show the world that there is only one true God. He wants to start a worldwide crusade. Where is he? And where's Nico? You must stop him. Here. Take the manuscript. Find the Ark. Find the Ark. And stop him. He's dead. We have to find Nico. Now, Gregor said something about downstairs. Three images of Jesus with the cross, carrying, putting it down, and the actual crucifixion. Symbol of the Templars. Symbol of the Turk. Symbol of the Assassin. Symbol of the Mamluk. Symbol of the Hospitaller. A powerful image of the Ark of the Covenant. Light, or could it be fire, is pouring out over the land below. The second, the battling armies ensure strict rules that they respect. No Malmuk can follow Templar or Hospitaller of lowly breed. Malmuk must follow Turk to escape the assassin, sidestep to right. Templar and assassin must never follow the other. Always move forward and never back. The Ark of Ashdod, depicting the slaughter of the innocents. I have to stop the same thing happening again here and now. A painting I studied in comparative religions back in Idaho. Described in the book of Samuel, it depicts the power of the Ark of the Covenant devastating the populace of Ashdod. Mark, this weapon, the Ark, it must be what Gregor and Devlin plan to unleash. Holy Mother of God! George, we must stop them! The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. The Ark of the God of Israel must not stay here with us, because his hand is heavy upon us and upon Dagon, our God. The rancid corpse of mother and child. Another child still alive watches on. Well, this is terrible. The Lord threw the people of Ashdod into despair. He plagued them with tumors, and their cities swarmed with rats. No wonder they gave the Ark back to the Israelites. They placed the Ark in Dagon's temple. 
The next morning, the people of Ashdod saw the statue of Dagon fallen on his face on the ground before the Ark of the Lord. Painted in the left corner is a depiction of an angel carved into the frame, and there's a crack around her neck. The image of an angel carved into the frame sits serenely at the bottom right of the painting. There's a large crack around her neck. Now, why carve that? There's a lock on the inside of the trap doors, but I need to get to it. Try and hold these doors open a little for me, would you? Oh, you give it a go. Well done, Mark. We make quite a good team. Funny. In my dreams, there was always a beautiful blonde cheering me on at a moment like this. A blonde, as in blonde girl? Of course. Oh, well, I thought you were, well, you know. What, George? Well, I, I kind of thought you didn't, well, have those feelings uh, for uh, women. George, I may wear the garb of a priest, but inside there still beats the heart of a hot-blooded male. The hourglass is turnable. Now which way should I turn it? Now which way should I turn it? Now which way should I turn it? Satisfying click. It looks like the head is now locked in place. As I move the angel's head back, a stone slab in the floor slides backwards. As I let go of the angel's head, the door shuts again. That's too quick for me to make it through in time. Mark, I need you to do something for me. I want you to hold the angel's head back so I can go through the door. That means I won't be able to come with you. Where I'm going is no place for a priest. But George, I studied Tai Chi, Jiu Jitsu, Korean kickboxing. I know the SAS handbook backwards. I've seen every Bond movie ever made. And I can hold my breath underwater for two minutes. Whoa, two minutes? How'd you do that? Vatican diving team champion, two years running. Cool. So, can I come? Sorry, Mark. Be careful, George! Hmm. I smell catacombs. Home from home. The plastic cover is screwed tightly to the wall. The junction box is now open. With my lucky gloves on, I can pry the wire loose. the socket. the founding of the order. One. 
an account of the most noble order of St. Michael. Spread out! The explosion came from here! Someone's coming. What have we here? Fellas. Well, well, well. Small world, Anna Maria. Or maybe that's not even your real name. It's real. Is it? Why did you come after me, George? You were working for Gregor all along, weren't you? I believed what we were doing was right. Including murder? I thought we were going to bring millions to the faith peacefully. You lied to me. Not everything was a lie. Istanbul? That wasn't a lie. I thought you'd been kidnapped. I suppose I had been. All along. What about this whole nun thing? What? You know what I mean. You really a nun? I never took my vows, so no. Well, that's something, I suppose. Trust me, George. Believe in me, please. Yeah? We better stop the bad guys first. And I've got to find Nico. Nico? The old friend? Yes. Gregor took her. She's down here somewhere. Oh my god! They're going to use her! We don't have much time! Use her? The Ark! It needs a human... interface to work. Yes! It's somewhere down here, underneath St. Peter's. We have to find it before the ceremony. The ceremony? The service for world religious leaders. Up there! It's due to start any minute. Come on, George. The Ark. It's through that passage. What's beyond the other entrance? I don't know. Since they brought me here, I've been kept a virtual prisoner. Why? After Istanbul. They didn't trust me anymore. I don't understand. They saw me and you. Together. Ah. it right there. Come on. Father Gregor will want to pick ah! that. No, oh, no, what have I done? It's all right, Archie. You haven't killed him. He's just knocked out. <laughs> Who cares about him? That was my last bottle of 85. Well, thanks for the rescue. What are you doing down here? Ah, my secret stash, old boy. You mean the Pope's cellar? Well, somebody's got to help the old boy finish it off. What? George, we must get going. The service will start any minute. Nice bumping into you, Gary, me old boy. Yeah, time I was off, too. Gotta start a new chapter in the old book. Come on, Anna Maria. Let's find Nico. Holy crosses? Puzzles? Just like we had in Istanbul. <laughs> Well done, George. We're not there yet.
Oh, George, you find a way across. I'll follow. That was pretty good, but I think I can do it faster. Go on, then. Whoa! George, be careful! Better let me walk across first. Okay. Crushed. Look around for a release button. There are some levers up here, but which should I pull first? The assassin lever. The Turk lever. Oh, try the Malmuk lever. The Templar one. George, that's it. Thank God you're safe. I don't want to lose you again, George. We need to push on. This is where the Ark was hidden. And the cherubs with it. I'm kind of assuming the cherub you and I found in Istanbul was from the Ark. In the paintings, there are always two of them. That's right. I helped decode a manuscript to find the other one, two years ago below the temple of Mount Horeb. My god. Moses' mountain itself. Where the Ten Commandments were handed to Moses. That was our first breakthrough, George. It was so exciting. Then the plant in Phoenix was blown up, and everything changed. Gregor began to panic. He said we had to get help. So that's when you came to me? Yes. And that's when I realized I was on the wrong side. Damn. What do we do now? Uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea. We'll find a way out. Of course we will. The emblem's got a slot in it and the words Memento Mori. Nice work, George. Listen, George, the mass has started. Right there. 
Method. Turkish security. Ex Turkish security. Now just a free spirit, making a living. George, my friend, I would be grateful if you desisted from damaging the Ark any further. My clans have requested their new weapon be fully serviceable on receipt. Step away, please. So you can sell the thing to the highest bidder? I don't think so. George, there isn't much time. I will shoot her, George. Just keep going, George. Nico, you okay? I'll oh, be alright. Nothing a good drink won't cure. George? What's the matter? No. Oh no, Anna, Anna! I'm sorry, George. This wasn't supposed to happen. George, I'm so sorry. She stepped in the way. She did it for me. There's nothing you can do. She was on my side all along. I never told her. Come on, George. We better go. <laughs> 